Hey, hi guys, welcome to PCF. In this video, we are going to discuss about the uh, custom tooltip. Like when a user want to more details, like so when he mouse over, uh, you know, specific bar or specific any chart. So you want about the more details. So you can go and then uh, create a custom tooltip. But normally, so you will not get this more details. Like so whatever the values are there, but those values only. So if you take any uh, other charts, like without custom tooltip, suppose if I take the country by sales, okay, so um, you can select any other visual, but it will not give the more details, more, more details view. See, if I go here, see, it is giving only, it is giving only country and then total sales amount. But if you go here, see, it is giving the total sales amount and profit and then unit price and whatever the details you want to add, so you can add, okay. So even if you move the uh, other visual, so it is giving a, a totally um, then a table, okay, detailed table it is giving. Like so, whatever the visual, okay, I have you now given the a uh, table visual, but whatever the visual you want to add, so you can add. So how to do that? Okay, let's get started, guys. Okay, so I'm going to take a new file. So I'm going to take a new file. Uh, I'm opening the Power BI. So we'll uh, now try to create the same things. So to try to create the same things. So for that, uh, so I've taken the sample data. So I've taken the sample data just to go here and then get data. Um, so financial sample. Okay, you can take some sample data there. So my data is clean. So I'm directly clicking on the load button. So my data is clean. I'm directly clicking on the load button. Just click on the load button. So it will load the data. Uh, and I'm um, and I'm um, so once I load the data, so I will set some um, some of the background like how we have this in file in this file we have set some background right. So so some background color we have set for the entire page. So it's not no mandatory to set that. So just I'm um, you know, the look purpose. I'm just entering that. So I'm just going with this gray color and then so transparency is zero and then. So going uh, visuals like so, I'm going to uh, take country wise sales that in a bar chart. Country wise sales amount. So that is in bar chart. Okay, bar chart or column chart. Okay. So I'm going with the column chart. Okay. If you go here, so it is it is not giving the total sales price and all. Okay. If you want the sales and price, so you have to go with the another page. You have to go with the another page. In that page, you have to add uh, the sales amount. So first of all, uh, in this page, okay, so in the page settings, you can go to the page settings. In the page settings, you have to enable the custom tooltip. You have to allow, allow use as a tooltip, this page. Okay, you can use this uh, page as tooltip. If you want a tooltip uh, size of this page, so you can go and then use the size of this tooltip, okay? So it will give some default size, but still if you want to you know, decrease the uh, size of this page, you can still even you can go and then uh, decrease the size of that page, okay? So for now, I'm what I'm going to uh, select, so I'm going to select the sales amount. It will give the sum of sales amount that I'm going to take in the card. So the value is you now very big. So, but I want to you know only uh, the 20 or uh, 15 size, okay? I want only the 15 size, but I don't want this, uh, you know, labels okay i don't want these labels just stop the labels and then resize the okay resize this value card okay resize the card so you can take uh, you can place it here you can place it here and uh, bring one text okay take one text and you can uh, specify that this is the total sales amount okay you can write here this is total total sales amount. Okay, total sales amount. Just uh, you can uh, so decide this. Keep it beside this, and then add the semicolons. Okay, add semicolons, and then if you want to make it bold, you can make it bold as well. If you want to make it bold, you can make it bold. 
So if you want to increase the size, this is also 15. So you can make it 15. And then font family, you should make it the same. Okay, font family, this one and uh, so this card also. Try to keep it same. Otherwise, okay. So it not really looks good. Okay. So check the font family, whether this is having the same font family or not. So let's go here. So the font family is CRGI. So, so here we'll uh, select this CRGI. Okay, so, and then size is 14. So here also we can select this CRGI size is 14. And then if you want to make it bold, you can make it bold as well. Okay, here you can go to make it bold. Okay, so this way, so but still uh, the font size is now, yeah. So this way we can uh, create a card. Uh, so, and before that, you can you know do the grouping. Okay, so just uh, go to view. And then uh, selection pan. In the selection pan, you can see this card and then this text box. You can make this two as a group, as a group. So this is a sales group. Okay, this is sales. Okay, so if you still want to move this one a little bit up, okay, you can move and then. Okay, yeah. So this way we can adjust. Okay, still we can move. So here what we'll do, so text is up and then smooth is down. Okay, what we'll do? Okay, so just click this adjust now. So we have to adjust like this, okay? So it should be you no know, uh, very clear. So like, uh, so it should not take more much space, something like that. So that's the reason I'm trying to adjust the, the things. Okay, just you can go and then adjust like this. Okay, still uh, some number is you no know, missing something. Okay, just go like this. Okay, this way you can adjust. So the same way you can take a copy of this group. Okay, you can select this group. You can select this group. Okay, in the selection panel, you can select that group and then go to home and then take a copy and then paste it. Okay, so you can so you can drag this one down. So instead of you know sales amount, you can go with the profit. Okay, so here I'm going to uh take in this card so profit so like this you can add a number of things okay so here in the text i am going to enter the total profit amount okay total profit amount if you want to add a different color you can go and then add the different color as well okay so like uh, even uh, so this one okay take this one take this group and then uh, paste it here copy and then paste and then uh, you can use this for the unit price. You can use it for the unit price. Okay. So let's go this one. This is, this is the profit, right? This is the profit. And this is a unit price. Sorry, price. A okay, total price. You can enter this one here. The card is here, price. Okay, instead of profit, you can select the sales price. Okay, so here you can write the price. Total price amount. Okay, so like this you can create a card. So you can minimize this height and width. This page of the page height width you can go and then decrease that. Okay, you can go to canvas settings. So there you can go with the custom. So in the custom, you can go with this, you know, height, uh, width. So we have, you know, this much width. Okay, if you want to decrease, suppose you can go with this uh, 260, something like that. Okay, 260. 
even 260 also more right 250 so 250 as 240 yeah this one its height is now very much height we have so if you want to go with the 180 yes you can go with the 180 and even 180 is also more 160 so 160 is also more 140 see 140 uh 140 130 okay you can adjust this you no know, exact the size so even if you want to make the colors you can make the colors so i'm going to use this you no know, i'm going to use this page so whenever we you know so this tool tip will not show the customer so we'll hide this page okay we'll hide this page and then we'll go to this page one okay so here we will uh, we'll enable the tool tip here okay we'll enable the tool tip okay so click on this uh, visual click on this visual okay uh, go to uh, tool tip okay in general section you will have the tool tip enabled so just go here and then so uh, report page only and then here you will have to select the page two you have to select the page two so when you select that see it is enabled the custom tool tip okay so even if you want to you know give the table uh, wise okay suppose if you want to you know uh, table wise details select the copy paste okay so convert this into some uh, pie charts okay here in top of this i want to see the tooltip in a table okay so table view so you can go and then create one more uh, page so there uh, you can go with the custom tooltip enable so enable this one first once you enable this only you can use that as a tooltip okay so and here you can go with this you know product wise each say product wise sales amount and then profit and then uh, uh price something like that okay price so you can go and then do that even you can rename the columns okay this is the sales only okay sales enter and then price enter you can rename that okay you can adjust that okay so you can do the cosmetic changes so then price okay something like that you can do and then you can adjust the page okay so even the you can increase the font size or decrease the font size and then even you can increase the page okay so if you go to uh, the canvas so the width is not you know perfect so you can go to this canvas and then you can go to the canvas settings so then you can go and then go to the custom and then with you can increase the width so sales price so yeah so you can increase like this okay so okay you can adjust like that and then even you can adjust this table okay so even still this space is not enough for this even you can you know adjust this height okay even you can adjust this page height as well uh, go to the uh, so page settings okay you can go to the page settings just click here and then adjust the height okay height uh, i want only the 200 okay so you can adjust like this okay now you can this uh, custom tool tip for this another another visual okay so like that you can hide this page so just go here and so instead of showing this one okay so the custom tool tip is enabled so you can so you can go here and then select the page three okay now it will show the table view see so not only the table visual so whatever the visual you want to see the details so you can add that so when you mouse over there so it will see you can able to see that uh, view okay so this is about the custom tool tip guys okay hope you like the video please uh, subscribe my channel for more videos okay so thank you uh, have a great day guys thank you bye